we've got uh, a gold silver uh, polymetallic project that we just acquired in uh, Durango, Mexico. Going to make some forward-looking statements. And we're here today to pitch to the Dragons, we need $1.5 million. So my messages today are going to be four messages, value, expiration potential, team, and money. So here we are. We're in the, uh, the famous Sierra Madre belt in uh, Mexico, a very prolific gold-silver belt. We're, uh, we're, we're uh, located there. We're 23 kilometers northeast of the Tile Tita or San Dimas mine that's owned by uh, First Majestic. We're road accessible, 110 kilometers northwest of Durango. We've got uh, 11 concessions. 13,500 hectares, three mineralized zones, two that are uh, very underexplored. We're, we're, we're focusing on the Gavilani zone. It's 5.6 square kilometers and it's growing. So the value proposition. Well, the value proposition, first of all, is location, location, location. We're in the right place. We're in the San Dimas district. There's been an historic production in that area of 11 million ounces of gold and 582 million ounces of silver, over 200 discovered veins, and others like it. There's a guy called, uh, there's a company out there called Regency Silver that just acquired a property out there. And uh, Bruce, who uh, with Regency Silver, you now owe me two beers because I mentioned you yesterday as well. So uh, we, uh, we also went into this because we, uh, it had a nice current 43101. It was done in 2021. It's got eight, approximately 18.2 million silver equivalent ounces at a grade of 320 grams per ton silver. And I like anything over 250 grams per ton silver, and the cutoff was at 150. So the other thing we have in value is there's 10 holes that weren't logged by previous operators. So but w as soon as I took over this property, I had 10 holes in my pocket. They're fully assayed. They are not incorporated into the resource model. So they're great low hanging fruit. 3,400 samples in total assayed and will be incorporated in an updated resource estimate, which I hope by this time next year, I'll be announcing. So the other thing is, we I mentioned First Majestic Silver have the San Dimas project 23 kilometers to the southwest. This is actually one of their nicest Mexican mines that they operate, and so it's a very good project. We have the same geology, same rocks, same mineralization style, same kind of structure. We think we have another San Dimas. So I'm not going to give you all those, uh, those similarities, but there's a whole bunch of them. And uh, if you're interested, come over to the booth and uh, I'll talk to you about that. So on the exploration potential side, this was another big key feature that attracted us to this property. First of all, the, the company was touting that you could triple the resource in this area really quickly. Well, so we checked it out a little bit more. So we did a due detailed due diligence. We had SRK look at the resource model. We had, uh, we had an independent geologist go look at this thing. And we came out with the same reports as the company. So it verified everything they were saying great about this property is it has huge upside potential. Now, the other thing about the exploration potential was only 3% of, of the veins on this Gavilani zone are being drilled to date. That's not even counting the other two zones. So we, all of those purple dots that you see, there's that little pink area there. That's the area that's explored. It's only 0.2 square kilometers of this 5.6 kilometer area. So that's 1 one thirtieth, or roughly 3%. And all of those purple dots are sampling of the veins during a detailed mapping that was conducted by the previous owner. And they're all three grams of gold or better on surface. So huge exploration upside to get gold rich. And in these systems, that's exactly what you would expect. It's an intermediate sulfidation system. And at the bottom of the systems, you'll typically get gold. And the other thing is, there's probably a couple mineralizing events going on here because that zone in the bottom, uh, the bottom uh, corner can't be the same as the one up top where it's being drilled. 
The other factor is, I've mentioned this two other zones, we know very little about them right now. They need to be mapped, but the, the early, early results from those are extremely encouraging. We haven't started work on this property ourselves. So the team, well, people always wanna know, do you have the right team? So we, we've, we've got the same geologist that was working on this property two years before. I hired him during the summer so I wouldn't lose him. We, we've got uh, on our board, we've got the uh, Jose Manuel in the pink there. He's, uh, he's got a master's in constitutional law in Mexico and a degree in public accounting. And then another one of my directors is Douglas Coleman. He's Mexico Mining Center. Anybody who does any business in Mexico knows Douglas. And he's also a representative of Appian Capital in Mexico. And then, uh, then we have others who are involved in the operating team. So we've got the team that worked there before. They're sticking with us, and that's a good thing. Finally, on the money side, well, having a good plan is the important thing. So we're going to start drilling other structures. They're, they've got broader alteration zones around them versus the ones that have already been drilled. And our plan is to start off slow because we're a small company. It's a tough market. So we're planning right now to do 1,500 meters and then do another 3,000 after the rainy season in the fall and then turn around update the resource and then in the next two years really upgrade this with anything from 20 to 50,000 meters of drilling to reach a PEA by 2026. Finally about money, you need the supports for money. You need the permit, the permit where we, we do have a permit approved for various sites on, on the, uh, in the Gabilani zone. We have a good environmental database the community, we met with them when we acquired this property. A, week, a day before I was in the community, we announced it to them. They, they, they loved the fact that we were taking over the project, that we were going to move it forward. In fact, they asked me, how quickly can you take it to development, Kevin? And, you know, so I said, oh, well, hold on now. We're an exploration company. It's going to take a bit of time. And finally, on the security risk, the bad boys are just not in this area. There's no marijuana production. There's no poppies on the hills. The bad boys are just not in this area of Mexico. So we're back to money. Well, this is the funds required right now is 1.5 million. We've got a number of different ways we're going to get that money. We, uh, we just sold a gold mill in California. So we get some payments from that. We're going to negotiate a favorable drill contract and uh, we're, we're going to, uh, probably we're ho hoping to secure a strategic partner. And uh, so we're gonna have some discussions with some groups right after this meeting. So we're massively oversold, uh, trading at three and a half cents. I've got a report out from Fundamental Research at 17 cents. So you do the math, I'm at about 20% of my value right now. We're at low point on the growth value curve. We got a very strong portfolio. I also have good projects in British Columbia and Yukon, which I have not given up on. I will be revisiting them, but in these times, it's best to focus on Gavilani right now, and that's the decision we've made. So our role is to secure favorable drill contact, use those funds from the sale duck gold mill, and identify a strategic partner. As the Dragons, what we're asking you to do is to buy in the market. If you're, uh, if you're a holder of our warrants, we're going to introduce an early incentive program to try and persuade you to exercise your warrants. And we got an upcoming private placement. And finally, believe in it. Because I think this is a great project. It's early stage, but there's value here to be had. Thank you very much. We're CMB on the TSX. Have a nice day.